Praise the Lord, my daily Bible study friends. Today we are looking at the sixth law of faith, and that is faith which worketh by love. Let's find out about it. Let me read a scripture to you from 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and have all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could move mountains and have not charity, I am become nothing. Amen. Well, it seems, according to this scripture, that you can have faith and yet not love your brother. I see how this is possible. If you think about the woman with the issue of blood, let's just go there for a second. And that particular event is seen in Matthew 9, 20 through uh, 22. And behold, there was a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years and came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, if I may touch the hem of his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that very hour. I will call this an example of raw and desperate faith. Notice what the woman said within herself. If I may touch but the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Amen. The point is, faith can be created. Now, she was healed because of a faith that she had made on her own. There's nothing in the law, the Torah, or any other writing that I'm aware of that says if you touch the hem of the Messiah or of a prophet or of any other person that you can be made whole. But somehow this woman's faith was that if I could touch her garment, I will be made whole. And of course, according to her faith, it was done unto her. So what is the discrepancy here? Apparently, we can have faith without love, according to 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. And this woman, she just needed healed. But yet faith happened. I believe what the scripture is talking about, where it says, and faith which worketh by love, is the faith that is from above, is the genuine faith that will be rewarded not only with its outcome, but with its heavenly reward that comes after. So maybe it's time we get right back to where the Master had spoken about faith. The first place is in Luke 17. And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If you had the faith of a grain of mustard seed, you might say to the sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root and planted in the sea, and it should obey you. But then he taught. He said, But which of you having a servant, plowing or feeding cattle? So he goes on to talk about a servant. And again, when Jesus says the words, I have not found so great a faith, no, not in Israel. It's about a centurion servant in Matthew, the eighth chapter. A centurion who said, I am a man under authority. So being under authority is obviously part of this. But I think there's even more depth to this knowledge and teaching than what we've reached here. I think we can find it in John. I may stand corrected with this next statement, but I believe John 14, 15, 16, and 17 are among the longest continual discourses from Jesus Christ. This was where Jesus was preparing his disciples to his his departure, but also to the arrival of the Holy Ghost. Among the things that he says, he says in verse 14, 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall they do because I go unto the Father. Whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, 
I will do it. That's John 14, 14. And if you'll take the time, you'll see that John 14, 15, 16, and 17 is a beautiful uh, exiting discourse from Jesus Christ. But we've already established that faith and miraculous things can happen outside of God, actually, just by very belief in the name of Jesus. Let me share with you real quick a very well-known and frankly, a very scary scripture. We're talking, of course, about Matthew, the seventh chapter. He starts basically in Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, clothing, but inwardly they are wet, ravening wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. And he goes on to say, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say unto me, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And I will then profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart me, ye that work iniquity. So faith cometh by love. Faith worketh by love. I want you to know that that word knew, I never knew you, is the same word where the Bible says, and Adam knew his wife. It is also having knowledge of somebody. The point is, there's an intimacy that comes with knowing Christ. There's an intimacy which comes with praying and seeking him. And when you know him, when you are acquainted with him, when you are one with him, then you can say, I know him. And you don't act out of character. You say and do as he shows you to say and do. And you wait to hear from him in order to do the things that he requires of you because you're acting as a servant. I hope you found some benefit and strength to this Bible study. And tomorrow we're going to look at the seventh law, and that is persistence is sometimes required when seeking the miracle that you need. He said to trust him, I'm trusting him.